This is breaking news. Britain's Got Talent fans rage at lack of British semi-finalists and slam shows box-ready competitors after discovering K-pop band Blitzers have already topped the charts and released three albums in South Korea. Britain's Got Talent viewers were left fuming during the second live semi-final of the series on Tuesday as the judges praised already established K-pop band Blitzers. The South Korean band were one of the acts to face the viewing public and judges Simon Cowell, Amanda Holden, Alesha Dixon, and Bruno Tonioli. They were praised by the panel for their slick performance, with Amanda describing the group as box ready. The audience at home was quick to take to social media to point out the boy band had already had some success in Korea, where they were formed by record label Wuzo Entertainment in 2021. Viewers also hit out at other acts, including cheerleaders Lady Grenades who have traveled the world to compete in international competitions, while noting a minimal amount of the performers were actually British despite the show's name. Blitzer's first EP check-in reached number 12 in the Korean charts in 2021, with their second, Seatbelt, getting to number 11 just five months later, and their third, Window, reaching number 10 in 2022. They also released five singles in Korea and had songs featured on two soundtracks. The fact the group were so highly praised by the judges left some viewers less than impressed, with many taking to social media to express their frustration. One person wrote on Twitter, Amanda, you seem box ready. Air, that's because they are. Blitzer are an established K-pop group who have already enjoyed success. No issue with them using the show to reach UK audiences, but please don't have the judges pretend they don't know. While someone else shared, is this K-pop band a professional act already in their own country? Seem far too slick and professional alongside the other acts. Not my thing at all, but I can see they are going to get through. The Blitzers being on is not on they are already famous, wrote someone else. While another viewer asked, aren't Blitzers already a very successful K-pop band in Korea? Someone else queried, these K-pop seem like more industry plants. How successful are they in Korea slash Asia? While someone else remarked, this act feels less about showcasing new talent and more about Simon Cowell pushing an established K-pop band onto the UK market. Another viewer who is already a fan of the band wrote, can all of us K-pop stands or Blitzers stands watching agree we will definitely vote for them to get to the final tonight. Blitzers, aged between 19 and 22, opted to perform their own version of Shawn Mendes's There's Nothing Holding Me Back despite having their own music and ended up wowing the judges during their first audition earlier in the series. The first ever K-pop band to feature on the British talent show got 40 yeses from the judges and will head into the next round. But BG He viewers took to social media at the time to vent their frustrations after finding out that the band have already found international fame, as well questioning why non-British acts are allowed on the show. Writing on X, formerly Twitter, they said, Why are Blitzers applying for fame on BGT? They already have been a singing group according to you too. Something isn't right. Given they are a professional boy band, I guess they should be. I'm kind of fed up with all these professionals get back to basics. Where are the Paul Potts and Susan Boyles, etc. Hashtag BGT big in Korea and want to bring it to the UK. Hmm. Stinks of Simon bringing them over as his pop One Direction. <laughs>